Blake. I never dreamed that I would find someone as perfect for me as you are. We are so weird in our own way, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Sarah, how can I sum up all of my feelings on this day? Today is the day my life becomes complete. Today is the day the love of my life walks down the aisle. Today is the day I marry my best friend. No words will ever be able to express my love for you. I promise to live out my days on this earth proving you are the woman for me and that I love you with all my heart. You are so beautiful inside and out. You are also so incredibly funny. Yes, I admit it. You are a woman of intelligence, thoughtfulness, and compassion. I thank God every day he has blessed me with you. You challenge me and you push me to be a better version of myself each day. You support me in every way, and I will never take you or your heart for granted. I love that we share the same goals, hopes, and dreams. Together, I think that we make a pretty rocking team. You are more than I could ever have asked for, and a best friend, wife, and future mother to my children. Believe it or not, every guy dreams about their wedding day and who they see coming down that aisle. I can tell you that without ever a doubt that you are the woman of my dreams. I can't wait to spend today, tomorrow, and the rest of my life with you by my side. No matter what comes our way, and no matter how much time has passed, know that our love will never fade. I know that we can and will always find strength in God and in one another, and that we will continue to grow together. I am so happy that you are my weirdo forever. I love you so much, Sarah. There is no other person on this planet I want to grow old with. You are my best friend, the love of my life, my rock, and my home. I will push through this life with you for all of the good times and the bad. I will always strive to be the very best husband for you. I promise you my lifelong devotion and to love you unconditionally forever. I promise to love and support you until the day I die. I can't wait to see you walk down the aisle and say I do. Love, Blake. <laughs> you look really beautiful. supposed to have suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want the suspenders. Oh, good <laughs> lord. That is beautiful. You, like you are beautiful. <laughs> the most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world a beautiful and magical place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and become something so pure and wonderful that you cannot imagine spending another day of your life without each other. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 and 7 says, Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It's not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. I know how deeply these two care for each other and love one another, and I'm honored to be here today among all of you to celebrate and witness this commitment to a lifelong love that they have for each other. Blake, do you promise to love Sarah and respect her? to share your life, your dreams, to build with her a home. That's a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth. I do. Blake, do you promise to be a companion to her in all of her successes and failures, in all her happiness and in sadness, to always give her your unwavering support, and above all else, the freedom to be herself? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, do you promise to love Blake, respect him and honor him, share your life and your dreams, to build with him a home that's a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth? 
Do you promise to be a companion to him in all of his successes and failures, his happiness and sadness, to always give your unwavering support, and above all else, the freedom to be himself? I do. By the power vested in me by the state of Oklahoma, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You can finally kiss her. And ladies and gentlemen, may I now present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Blake and Sarah Hall. So Sarah and I have known each other for approximately 29 years and 17 days, according to the Google calculator that I found online. The official story on how we met is that um, my mom took me to the hospital when she was born, and that was our official meet time. So Sarah and I grew up together more like sisters, actually a lot like sisters. For instance, she probably still has some shirts she borrowed from me in middle school. Sarah has an amazing ability to become friends with anyone she meets. She literally has friends everywhere. She has a contagious personality that you just want to be around. When she first told me about Blake, I knew that it would be different when I met him. They were so smitten with each other. He was so sincere, and it was something that I'd always hoped Sarah would find in someone. I'm so happy for both of you, and I'm so proud that you finally found the one. I just want to give a big congratulations to you both, and I love you. I want to say that this is probably one of the happiest days of my life, not only for uh, the newlyweds, Blake and Sarah, but Blake has finally admitted that I'm the best man. <laughs> now I've known Blake for 24 years now, and I wouldn't trade that time for anything. We have fought, laughed together, fought, cried together, fought. I'm only kidding. We quit fighting after you almost broke my wrist. Blake, I love you. You have grown into the man that any mom, dad, brother, or sister can be proud of. All right, Sarah, you ready? I couldn't be happier that you and Blake met each other. I'm glad you deal with my competitiveness when we play board games, and you should definitely be glad I can deal with you trying to push my buttons just like Blake does. I know you're going to make my brother very happy, and I love you, and I'm glad I get another sister in my life. We welcome you with open arms. So everyone, raise your glass. To my best man and his new bride, May your life be filled with love for one another and the most happiness you can imagine. I love you both. Heavenly Father, we come to you asking your blessing and favor on Sarah and Blake. We pray for patience, tolerance, and understanding as they begin to adjust to a wedded life. May theirs be a home where there is much joy, laughter, support, and an atmosphere of acceptance and safety. We pray that they will always respect each other and may both of them enjoy the freedom to become all that you want them to be, individually and as a family unit. Grant them courage to choose godly instructions in a world that so often abandons them. May their trust in you increase. May their home be filled with your peace. We ask this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.